Welcome to my baby blessing dress tutorial. In this video, we're going to be using a pattern from Kate Can Sew. I will post a link down below to the pattern in case you would like to use it. Okay, so here I am with my pattern. I'm going to cut it out and then I'm going to lay it side by side, all of the pieces, so I can see what I have. Here is my pretty lace that I'm going to be using for the trim of my dress. And here are some of the fabrics we'll be using. Okay. So now I'm laying my fabric in half and I'm going to cut along the fold. And this piece is going to be my inner liner of the baby dress. This next part of the pattern is going to be for the outside lace fabric of the dress. And these were the sleeves that I didn't really use. <laughs> and right here, I'm just connecting the rest of that pattern of the outside lace layer of the dress. I didn't finish that earlier, so here I am doing it now. So this is the fabric choice that I have. Um, this is going to be the back part of the dress, of the baby blessing dress. It's really pretty stretchy white lace. And then this I got the Sugar DI mostly because I love the material of the fabric. I love how pretty that is. It already has finished edges, which is really nice. So then I can just go ahead and I'm going to add this beautiful lace right across. And that will be really pretty. And then for my liner, I'm going to use this white fabric right here. Um, it's just a plain white. So hopefully that will add to the depth of the dress. So I think that will be really pretty. Here I go my lace. So I'm gonna grab my same piece. So there. Is that pretty? This is going to be for the back piece. Here's this pretty piece. I love it. This is going to be the back of it. It's going to be really pretty. There's barely enough. Here's the second pretty piece. They're friends. They're the same. Okay. They are friends! So it looks like that. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Okay, so here's for the bodice. So this is the first one. I just cut it once on a fold. And I need two pieces of fabric. So I have my inner and my outer. I'm just going to cut it.
Right here, when I cut this out, I actually made a mistake. It wasn't what it should have been on the strap. And so, instead of redoing it, I just used itself as a pattern on the other fabric and tried to line them up as best I could. And that's what it was. I think it's good. So, now here's the other piece. Lovely, so pretty. And this is gonna go over it. Pretty. So this one, it is the back piece. And it says to cut it twice, not on a fold. Well, I could do that or just to save time. I'm gonna do it on the fold and then just cut the fold. So that's what I'm gonna do. to serge the edges all the way around. Normally I would pin this together. I'm not really gonna worry about it at all. I'm just gonna serge it anyways. So, put it in. And then I start. To tie off my serge tail, I'm going to thread it through that seam that I had just sewn. Here's my front piece that I did. It was ugly sides together and I serged all the way around. And then I turned it right side out so that it looked like this. And that way you have that nice seam around the edges already done. And then I just serge the bottom because this is where I'm going to connect it. What I need to do is... Now I'm going to match them up pretty sides together and sew along the edges where they connect. This pretty piece of fabric is going to be for the sleeve and I'm just holding it up to it and trying to figure out how I want to add it. can't see it very well here, but here I'm trying to show that you I'm going to match up the bodice with the rest of the dress after it is base stitched and they should come together. I figured out what I'm going to do because in the design she did the dress which was beautiful but she just hemmed it at the bottom and I really love it when there's lots of fabrics, different um, different textures, different different designs, different looks to it because I think that cuts so much to the depth of it. And it's the small details that make something look amazing. 
I'm gonna take the shoe that I found and I'm gonna cut it at the bottom and I'm gonna sew it onto the edge of this part. And I'm gonna put it right here, all the way around, and it's gonna be so pretty. And then I'm gonna add the lace to the I'm gonna add the lace strip to the actual lace part of the dress. Oh my god, this be so pretty. Here. Okay, so beautiful. Look at that. And then I got this extra stuff I can use that for later. So this guy needs to figure out how much I need. I'm guessing I'm not going to have enough for the back. Let's see. Okay, so for my back piece, I didn't have enough of this pretty stuff, so I need something different. I went through my stash. Here's my back piece. Round, like that. And I found this. It happens to be the right size. Wonderful. That's me, so I'm gonna. Again, surge this on. It's just almost as perfect. But then when this lays on top of it with the other piece, it'll be really noticeable. That will be pretty. This surge. So there is the inside layer. Here's the front. So it looks kind of like that. So here's the front, and then here's the back. Okay, so now I'm going to sew this on, that way it's covering this back piece, so it will hide it, not be so unsightly from the back side of the dress, so I'm going to sew that on. So I'm going to choose a straight stitch for my basting stitch and then I'm going to take it to, I'm going to take it up to the highest setting and then I'm going to baste the two together. This guy. 
this is the front piece. So that means then this needs to be the same size as this. So I'm gonna grab two of the threads and the tops. I'm gonna pull that there. Sides together. Yeah. Okay, so that's been so I'm going to go so that. Here I'm going to go ahead and connect the back bodice to the back piece of the dress. This beautiful dress. Here's my front. Here's my back. And all these random pieces. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to serge. First, I'm going to turn it right side out, and then I am going to sew it pretty sides together. sew these if I wanted to. I'm going to serge them. So I'm going to have to pin these. In the first dress I made, I actually sewed the liner to the outside piece. And that may have made it easier, but I like the look of this a lot more. I can see that it's inside of it but it's not attached. It just adds more to it, I think. Let's go over here on this side. Just serge the edges of the liner. So nice. Finished edge. All the way across. You want to check both sides and make sure you got everything. It doesn't always work. This thing looks good. So it's just right here. So here it is. So I'm going to look over that one more time. Right here. So now that part is fixed. I just went over it again with the serger. So when I'm done, I'll fix all of my ends on all my pieces. For now, I want to sew this guy together. So I'm going to line up pieces with him. Okay, so I'm going to 
surge these edges. And come back. Okay. So now I'm going to surge this edge and surge this edge. So here's this perfect finished edge all the way across. This edge. went ahead and I pinned it everywhere. So now I'm gonna sew it on all the way around. So in order to sew this lace, it has little pearls on it. It's gonna be really tricky getting in here so I had to change my presser foot to my eye presser foot. So where it's open on both sides and I can choose what side I'm gonna sew on. So hopefully, problem and it won't catch as I sew. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in here. That's really pretty. So I just sewed this on and it looks beautiful, stunning. But when I, because I sewed these pieces separately, I did that seam along that stitch and then I sewed this one separately because I didn't want them attached. Well, when I surged it, I didn't go all the way to the top because I was doing them separately. So now I'm gonna bring these two together and connect right here. And I thought about sewing it with my sewing machine, but it's really thick. So I am just going to hand sew that right there and connect the two. So I'm going to connect the two. Get my handy dandy needle and I'm going to sew that up. about three or four times. I'm gonna do not. Just do it enough. Just do it the right way. <laughs> do it a lot. That's one or two times thing. That's gonna be crappy and come apart. Just do it right the first time. There. Beautiful. So here's one side. professional. But hey, you don't have to be professional to make things work. It really doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You just go make the beautiful things that you like to make. Just get creative. Make beautiful things. Even if they're not perfect. Besides, nothing is perfect. Nothing. On the surface. Okay. Let's bring it over. Enough. 
Okay, now I'm gonna sew this guy. Can you use that? That looks so pretty. Back of it, look at that cute little flower right in the middle. That's the back. Here's the front. Looks like the back one in the front. Let me cut this down. But it's pretty. And for the sleeves, I wanted to bring this fabric in that I have. So I'm going to take this extra fabric that I have and I'm going to use that for the sleeves. So I'm going to cut it in half and somehow I'm going to insert it. Something like that. Something you pretty see like that. And I don't want to close this off. I like that open. You're just going to come about right here along the back. Here's my sleeve, and I surged all the way around it. And now what I'm gonna do is, I like to add lace or finished um, pieces that are already complete. And so I don't really like finishing them myself. I like to just find stuff and then add to it because that's more enjoyable for me than actually making it. So I'm gonna take this I'm going to cut it and then I'm going to unpick it all the way and I'm going to encase this inside of it on the sides. So I'm going to put this inside of this and it will be really pretty. And then that will be my finished part of the sleeves because I'm not actually going to sew a sleeve all the way around And I, if I do I actually need more fabric because I'm a little short. So it, that way it gives me the option of leaving it hanging and being pretty or giving me a little bit more fabric that I need. I like the idea of just coming and pinning it like that and leaving it open. And leave it open. And then I just sew these two together. So then, she's got a pretty sleeve like that. Also on the other. I thought that the, the sleeves looked really pretty when they were longer, but we actually realized that they were a little too long on her cute little arms. <laughs> and so I'm going to shorten them up. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm pretty much just sticking this in here so I don't have to redo everything. 
I was thinking about that and that would have been horrible. So I'm just folding it on the inside. And then I'm going to pin it like that. Okay. So now my sh sleeves are shorter. So I will go ahead and sew it like that. Okay, so here are the sleeves sewn on. And they're shorter now. So they look like that. And if you look around here, they look on the side. I actually have this hole right here. It's actually really nice because then the baby's arm will fit through there without it being too tight. And it's got the finished edges. So this is for the hat. Put this around her head. And then I stitched it right there. And right now it's this big long thing. I'm going to tie it off on her head somehow. I wish I had this recorded, but I don't. What I did was I put it on her little baby's head and I would wrap it in place and then I would take it off and I would hand sew it and then I would put it on her head again and I'd wrap it again wherever it needed to go and then I would take it off and I'd hand sew it again and I did this maybe about, I don't know, three or four times until it was perfect. And ideally it would have been much better if I had like a little styrofoam ball or a little baby mannequin head where I could put it on the head and just hand sew it from there. Anyways, moving on. Cute little wrap on the side, I hand sewed that. Here's the front. And then I have to finish hand sewing this. So I'm gonna have it wrap all the way around. And I measured it on her head born, I measured it right here. So they know where it would go. Got to measure snow, but I'm gonna hand sew this. I had to sew this in pieces because it's not stretchy. And I've had to take it on and off her head, on and off her head again <laughs> yesterday to get the round piece to fit properly. So I had to sew a little bit at a time. And I've had to sew this one in pieces too. It's not, well, I guess the round piece is stretchy with this. The lace is not stretchy. That was a little tricky. But just to sew it in pieces. Pretty much, I want to stretch it out and find that midpoint. Here is my headpiece. So see how it bunches up like that. It doesn't stretch. I have these buttons. I'm going to sew on the back of the dress right here. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this and sew it. Here are the beads, I just hand sew these on, three of them. And then I'm going to sew in here, so and just loop that around, like that. One here, one, two, and three. Okay, so here's my back side. I just finished sewing those on. So my last one I'm gonna cut right here. So here are my three. Here are my three buttons. First one. Second one. 
So I have this scene that turned out kind of funny looking. And so I had these flowers that actually came on the shirt that I was using for this project. And I had this idea where I should cover that seam up with these flowers. And I felt totally blessed because it was such a great idea and it looked really pretty. I covered it up and it just looked really unique and I loved it. It took a little bit of time. I just hand sewed them on, um, but they were great. Okay, so this is the finished product. This is Luella's big dress. Here's the front. Here's the back of it. This is the bottom layer. Hey guys, thanks for stopping by. This was fun. I hope you enjoyed it. I just want you to know that you're awesome and fantastic and you have so much potential and creativity inside of you. Um, go out and create and do wonderful things. Go and do what you're meant to do and go and be who you're meant to be. Have fun guys.